This is the best build on the motherfucking game, man. And it ain't even close. It ain't close. Now, if you're looking to make a build, you know, I don't know if you're getting this game for Christmas and it's your first build, or if you're just bored of your play shot, right, and you you want to make an actually good build, you, you clicked on this video, right? First possession, stop. Wait, I didn't get the rebound. He gets the rebound. Second, stop. Hall of Fame Intimidator. Hold up. This is by far my best build that I have. Like, it ain't even close, bro. I hop on I hop on 2K, bro, with, with the homies. I I shut the TV off. I get on this build and I just don't lose. It's it's like playing the game on rookie difficulty every game. Like it's impossible to lose whenever I'm on the build. Like I'd be having fun on other builds. Like green, he sags off because I just dunked it. Back, step back, green. That, that, that's what just happened right there. But and I'm still cooking up, bro. It, man, we gonna get into the build, but but let me speak some facts. Yeah, the pure playmaker has its pros and cons. You know, I hop on the stretch playmaker to have some fun. I got the six nine playmaker made. I even got a play shot made. Bro. But whenever I go to a comp scenario, whenever I come to stage, whenever I want to wager somebody, you know, I'm hopping on the play glass, bro. Whenever I'm doing a series, I'm hopping on this build right here. Why? Because this build is overall the best build that 2K has to offer. If you're just picking up the game, bro, the build system is very, very similar. The builds play very similar to 2K20. And you remember 2K20, the two way slashing playmaker, was the best build on the game, bro. And, and the play glasses back there, they, they were some heat too. They, they were just big two-way slashing playmakers, you feel me? But it was always the red and yellow pie chart. Hall of Fame defense, Hall of Fame playmaking. Those builds were always the best. Look, I give up the ball, bro. What am I about to do? I'm about to get it right back because I got Hall of Fame defense, bro, and max wingspan. Like, if you give up the ball, you get it right back. But the, the best builds on 20 and this year were the red and green pie chart. <clears throat> the what the red and green pie charts why because they get hall of fame playmaking the combo up movement is everything and they get hall of fame defense and defense is everything and you can still shoot on that pie chart and you can still get contact on us let's get into how to make it and real quick before i get into how to make it make sure you like the video if you haven't liked the video already subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want plugged up on the best 2k jump shot sigs all that but let's get in how to make the build now you get more badges at point guard shooting guard small forward but if you want the drip if you want the playmaking glass cleaner name that nobody else has for real i've been seeing more of them just because i've been putting people on but get the playmaking glass cleaner name bro go power forward take a dip on the badges bro just to get some drip you need some drip you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all don't have no drip and you need some drip so get some drip for the pie chart red and yellow pie chart hall of fame defense hall of fame playmaking speed pie chart if you pick anything else you're stupid now put put this put the badge points spread out just like this now on my play glass i got uh seven finishing badges but you really only need six and you can get you know an extra badge somewhere else so i'd put it six you can put it seven but i promise you you don't need it i'm, I'm gonna put y'all on how to make it like the goat play glass all right so six finishing you want to get max shooting which is only nine but you can you can fire that thing off bro you can you can split gag that thing you know what i'm saying with nine shooting badges y'all see in other videos for for playmaking badges my play glass only gets 17 so you want to put that bitch up until you get 17 we don't get another playmaking badge after we finish the defense now on my dude i upgraded interior defense because i knew i was guarding the paint and i always had an on ball lock whenever i was doing like some comp gameplay whatever it is so i was guarding paint on the pick and roll but even without perimeter defense on my play glass i still play really good on ball defense i don't know if it's just half intimidator or what bro i don't know what perimeter defense does but but i i be clamping dudes with no perimeter and no block block is so broken this year all you need is bronze chase down and bronze rim protector and you'll get hella blocks i even get snatch blocks on all, on all my builds and i don't have block on any of them this shit is weird and goofy i don't know what mike wang doing but he he, he better do better because this shit don't make no sense but you can set it up like this if you only need 17 playmaking badges you can get seven finishing or but if you want six finishing get 18 playmaking badges i set it up like this bro so so you can be like your boy cozy now you can go you know troll and you go burly and be a fat neck you know what i'm saying just dribbling the ball comboing up being a fat neck but i always go slight every build every year you want to go six seven and you want to go down to 188 so you you keep you know as much you know speed and excel as you possibly can but you also keep some interior and some strength with it now for wingspan bro you better go max you better go max if you go minimum or anything other than max you fuck up the build and you're gonna make the bill you're gonna be like, oh this shit trash this, this that ain't the bill man you want to go max bro whenever you go minimum bro you only get plus two three pointer or whatever the fuck it is bro you 
you ruin your 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 chances of getting contact dunks off for it, bro. And, and you only get like plus two ball handle. Your defense goes to shit. You got these little ass T Rex arms trying to out out there trying to guard everybody. You ain't gonna be able to do shit. Grab your nut. Quit being a bitch saying, "Oh my god, I only have a 61 three pointer." You can split gack that fucking thing, man. You can split gack like water, straight water, rip tide. Fucking what's it, what's it called when when the wave when when it's like the big waves come? I gotta look that shit up. Hold up, a tsunami, a tsunami. When you whenever you shooting that thing, bro. I got jump shot vids on the channel, so go go put that go put that jump shot on, bro, and split gack that thing and get your hot zones immediately. Cause without hot zones. You, you probably can't split it, but you get get into my career or whatever you need to do to get the hot zones, bro. Now, an 81 driving dunk, you get all the tomahawks off rip, man. You get the Scotty Pippen dunk package. You get all the good dunk packages, and at 99 overall, you get the contact dunk packages, and you can even get contact dunks off rip once you hit takeover. So you just be dunking on everybody. 61 three pointer, you can shoot with that boy, bro. You can shoot with that boy. 76 ball handle. I already told y'all y'all could cook up with that while you're in take. It even goes to like a uh, uh, 86. You know what I'm saying? So you can do all the dribble moves and at 99 overall you get an 80 ball handle to where you get almost all the dribbling packages in the game so you just be straight cooking up my boy for takeovers definitely go with slashing take because you get plus 10 on driving dunk and you get endless contact dunks right and then and then get uh it gives you a plus 10 on ball handle too so you'll have a, a 86 off rip and takeover but whenever you get takeover you have like a 90 ball handle bro that shit is op bro that shit is op but you get the the, the best thing about the build is the name playmaking glass cleaner that shit is hard bro you don't see too many of those you pull you come to the park with this bitch all your friends be like oh my god a playman glass cleaner i never seen that shit and then you're like you, you start cooking up hitting threes contact dunks bro for finishing badges i'm running limitless takeoff and slithery finisher just because posterizer is a little broken this year you don't need it but if you don't trust me you can take off slithery and put on gold posterizer so you max out posterizer and limitless takeoff so let me know how that go you know what i'm saying i didn't really run posterizer too much this year but i mean i, I heard it's broke and it broke for me but shooting badges right so off the rip you want to get sniper gold i don't know why but it helps your shooting percentage i don't know even it even helps you green it's weird bro it's weird i trust me but after that get stop and pop or rhythm shooter bro and then after that you should have your hot zones so then get hot zone hunter and once you get three these three badges you, you're gonna be confident shooting the ball bro i promise you playmaking badges you get just enough to get everything you need bullet passer handles for days quick first step quick chain and unpluckable that's everything you need to cook up bro that the playmaking badge is pretty self-explanatory on this build bro and that, that should be the staple for all builds you need those playmaking badges bro if you don't have bullet passer on you're a piece of shit i hate you as a teammate but the defensive badges bro you can still go crazy bronze chase down bronze rim protector so you get the, the cheeky block animations the, the fire the fire you know what i'm saying the cheesy you know what i'm saying get a little rebound chaser on there now now clamps menace intimidator all hall of fame you're a menace to society bro every time you guard somebody you kill their vibe you some people hop on 2k looking to have fun and then you guard them with this build and just shit on their entire day they shut their console off and they go cry themselves to sleep bro but get the bronze interceptor you got the max wingspan to steal the ball bro put on some hustler if you want this is like what i'm running on my play glass and i've been it's been successful bro so now you made the build you got the badges on that well you don't even really need to max the build out bro it, like the grind the ground on every year on 2k is tough bro it's ass but you get this build up bro and, and then you are the greatest the greatest of all time you're the goat the, the best to ever do it once you get this build you know popping you feel me and if you're new to the channel and you make this build make sure you check out my other videos just because i show y'all how to cook up with the 76 ball handle so you know you get that off the rip so you can really cook up on that some people can argue that the 76 ball handle sigs are better than the 80 ball handle sigs you feel me so i teach you how what what sigs to put on what badges to get first i just showed y'all that for real and then you know what I'm saying how to dribble with it you know what i'm saying and you know i just be giving out you know what i'm saying the good tips for this build specifically so go check that go check them johns out bro for and i'd like to wish y'all happy holidays merry christmas happy new year go spend that quality time with the family bro because you never know when it's going to be the last time you spend that quality time with them you feel me and you never know who's not who's gonna not be around next year you feel me and then if you had bad a bad holidays this year if you, if you didn't have a good time this year it was bad it is always next year so keep your head up and keep it gangster okay but that's gonna wrap up this video hopefully y'all like the video subscribe but whatever i'll catch y'all in the next one peace